True or false, Posca pens are only good for painting bold and simple illustrations. False! There are a variety of ways to paint with Posca pens, and I've come up with at least 10 that you can use to create a range of effects in your Posca pen art. The paint from a Posca pen is thick and juicy, but it's also water-based. It says so right here. Which means you can take a paintbrush, wet it, and use it to work the paint into the paper. This is a great way to subtly blend any color you like. If you prefer, you can wet the paper first and use the Posca pen on top of that. Ooh, it's so satisfying. This is especially fun if you use two colors at the same time. Don't forget that you can use the same technique with two different colors to blend them together for a smooth gradient. If your colors are just too vibrant and like so over the top, you can pump them into a paint palette, water it down and apply it with a brush. The best part about this tip is that the more water you add, the more transparent the paint will become. I know using a paintbrush is kind of like cheating, but when you don't have a lot of art supplies and Posca pens are the only things you have, you want to use them to your advantage. So that means you want to use everything that you've got to get the best out of your art supply, even if it means using it the wrong way. I've been using Posca pens with my paintbrushes for a while now, and just incorporating a paintbrush with your Posca pen is a tip in itself. Because Posca pens come in a variety of different sizes, but they're all sold separately. But because you watched this video, you know that you can use a paintbrush to create a variety of strokes and lines with your Posca pen. And you can just invest in a pack of $5 paintbrushes from Walmart, or you can go to Dollar Tree and get a pack of paintbrushes for $1.25. Certain art supplies such as Posca pens can feel extremely limiting. Luckily, we're thinking outside the box in this video, so if you're enjoying these tips, go ahead and like this video so more people who love to use Posca pens can benefit from the information in it. I'm also trying to save you some money. Oh, hey, before I move on to tip number whatever we're on, I wanted to do a quick demonstration showing you the techniques that I just went over. The most fascinating thing about this demonstration is that when you compare the result to what I showed you at the beginning of the video, it is completely different, but it uses the same exact art supplies. Don't forget that by pumping your Posca pens into a paint palette means you can create a whole new color. This tip is gold because not only do you not have to buy all of the sizes of Posca pens, you don't have to buy all of the colors either. Unfortunately, my pack of Posca pens comes with only one type of purple, so I'm showing you how I make a variation of purples using this technique. This one's my favorite. Did you know that you can create a spray effect with your Posca pen? Just shake it up and blow on the tip of it. I've seen this hack with markers and it, was, it went viral on TikTok. The same hack applies to Posca pens. Oh, but the fun doesn't stop there. You can also create a drip artifact with your Posca pens. Pump the Posca pen onto your piece of paper while it's on a flat surface, then bang it on the table until it drips. And if you aren't happy, bang it again and again. Let's make some texture. Grab a dry brush and draw on it with your Posca pen. Now gently rub it over the surface. You should end up with some ridiculously fine lines that are random and almost impossible to achieve with even the finest Posca pen. If you have some Halloween candy laying around, scrunch it up and draw on the Posca pen and press the foil into the piece of paper like a stamp. Don't you love art tips that give you an excuse to eat candy? We can't leave out the splatter effect. Pump that paint into the palette, dip a paintbrush in and stroke it with your thumb to make a splatter. Before my final tip, I can't stress enough that you are allowed to use your art supplies however you want. And it's my mission to make sure that you never feel limited with the art supplies that you have. If that's something that you're interested in, subscribe to this channel and I'll make sure that I continue to break the rules so you can get the most out of your art supplies. 
This last technique is turning a mistake into a tip and it's called the smudge technique. Usually highlights and shadows stand out and tend to look flat in Posca pen art. But if you smudge the paint as you put it on the paper, you can create a blur, creating an illustration with more depth. Another way of adding more depth to your Posca pen art is to combine it with acrylic paint. So go ahead and watch this acrylic painting tip video and I'll see you next time.